<coughs> okay, so this is a, another video I'm making. This is again, I repeat, this is a continuation of what we did uh, uh, problem. So last time, last class I did 7.5 problem number, I think we finished six. So the one that you can see, this was the problem that I spent quite a lot of time. It took me almost 16 minutes just to understand that. Okay, let's go to the directly now. Now comes a really easy type of a question, but when you look at this question, uh, what are the options? Are we going to use double angle formula here, cosine two theta is, like there are four of them, cos square minus sine square, or one minus two sine square, or one, two cos square minus one, or you are using one minus 10 square over one plus 10 square. I mean, if you do that, I mean, and this one, that would be like too much of mass here. But I wanted to recall, here, the compound angle. So what are compound angle? Compound angle identities. That means you can see that there's a cosine theta, this is sine two theta. So the you, you, one thing is this, you can see this is the, that's the theta, this is the same theta, and there is a, there is a two theta here. So this two theta and this is the same thing. So we can think of a cosine A, So this is like, this is like A, and this one I'm putting in. And this is like A, and this one is B, and this is B. So it is like cosine A, cosine B, plus sine A, sine B is cosine, so we, can, we are using cosine of a minus B, that's here, if we have cosine A minus B, so cosine A, cosine B, plus sine A, that's all. So you have to remember this, that that's how the form is, so you can go uh, under this, and write, okay, is A, A is theta, and then minus B is, B is two theta. And that is one half, and when you subtract, you get cosine of minus theta. And remember, if there is a minus theta, cosine minus theta is same as cosine theta, so we can directly write cosine theta equals half. Okay, then again, uh, question is, you need to find answer from zero to two pi. So, uh, where is cosine zero? So this is, is plus, plus, so if it is plus, cosine is positive in the first quadrant and also in the fourth quadrant, correct? But cosine of what angle is zero? I mean half. So we know, we know, we know cosine of pi by three is half. So one of the answer is already theta is half, sorry. So this answer is, this answer is pi pi three. Now you're, you're supposed to get answer from zero to two pi. If you check your, uh, the practice problems, you will see this, you're supposed to write only from zero to pi. The second one is fourth quadrant. Now how do you go fourth quadrant is, uh, you can uh, remember, so, if I draw a circle, so cosine pi by three, so this will be, this this is the angle pi by three, so this is pi by three. And then in the fourth quadrant, that's like going around, so somewhere here, we, where, where is this here, here, we don't, so how do we know that? So that, remember the whole around is, there are six, six pi by threes, pi by three, so that means all around there are, six of them because 60, 60, 60. So 60, 6, 60 is make uh, uh, 360. Uh, and then if this is the one part, this is like 160, then the one other one will be 260. So this is like two pi, this is like pi by three. So this is two pi by three. This is, will be three pi by three. Then there will be four pi by three. And then you get five pi by three, see? So the angle in next is pi by pi three. So by just, uh, Thinking of this, how many 
pi by 3 is make a circle and you can just decide without using the unit circle. You don't have to uh, all the time use unit circle. The goal is can we do this without using circle? Or you can also say, okay, uh, we want to know another angle, so we don't want this. Is there another way to figure out? So if this is the initial side, then you want to go all around and see how do we know what is this angle? And you can see you subtract. So the whole all round is so if this is pi by 3, naturally this also has to be pi by 3 because of, can you see that part? So this also is pi by 3. So what all you do is, the all around is 2 pi, the whole circle is 2 pi, and taking away this, taking away this pi by 3. So when you do this pi by 3 and you multiply 3 here and divide 3 and you get 6, so you get 6 pi minus pi and then you get the same thing and you're done. So hope that helps uh, geometrically just without using uh, unit circle, you can just think of this and get the answer. Uh, that's one way to do. How many how many pi by three do you have to uh, go in the counterclockwise and end up getting pi pi by three? Or you could also do all around is two pi and then you subtract pi by three. Let's move to problem number <coughs> problem number eight. So that's the A. So question number eight is again the same thing repeats. So sine theta that's like a A. So this is the same thing A, and that's uh, the B. So this is B. So sine A cosine B minus cosine A sine B will be sine A. So the formula A is A is sine A minus B is I think that so it is sine sine A cosine B minus cosine A sine B. Sorry. And that's all you are going to use. This is the A, this is the A, and then the other one is the B. Okay, so we get A minus B. So this thing is sine 3 theta. This answer uh, reduces to sine of sine of 3 theta, the orange color minus the, the blue color. So this whole thing reduces. So this A is equals to 0, which is sine of 2 theta A is 0. And now you have to think of, again, I always like to show this. In your mind, you're thinking that where is sine 0? Now, if you can draw, see, so sine zero, and the, by definition, sine is always the the y. So if this is the point, this is this is one zero. Suppose this is one, and that's that's x y. This is the cosine. This is the sine. Just wanted to make sure we get this part. So sine two theta is zero. Is one thing is sine of zero angle. So this is. Uh, for zero, this so whenever, whenever the angle is there, or it could be other side. So this also, that is the part because this is minus one and zero, and this this basically means cosine, cosine of pi. Sorry, that's cosine. We want sine pi, right? Oh my God, my mind is not working. I'm tired, but I'll try to make this. Mm, this one, this is the. This is x, that's y, this is cosine, that's sine, okay? So sine of uh, 180, the pi. So so sine of pi is zero. So we have not only just zero, but so this this thing is, let me write this as. So, so your answer is, uh, is two theta. So the two theta is, is zero angle. So here the theta is zero. And also this side theta equals to zero, and also okay that's one thing. Let me do. And also two theta is the pi, so pi also. And then you can just divide. So divide by two, and you get theta equals theta equals theta equals zero, and theta equals pi by two. So those are the answers. So because they asked us the question, 
uh, what else? Now one more thing I want to be be careful is <coughs> is are this the only answer or there there are more than that? Be careful. So when I write the two theta, I I want to also write not just uh, theta but also two theta. So I'll, uh, let me repeat this: theta is zero, and also here you go around. It's like going all around. So this part is also 2 pi, right? That's 2 pi, 360 degrees. So I'm going to write 360 degrees. So not just a zero here, but also 360. And now you divide by, you divide by 2. And when you divide by 2, you get, so the reason I'm telling is theta equals zero is one of the answers. And this is, this is 180 degrees. You get back the same thing. Just wanted to show here. So, so you have two more answers. This was two theta. See, the, the, the angle here is two theta. This is two theta. So that is zero, either zero or one eighty, which is pi. But because you are or, or three sixty also, but when you divide, you get one eighty degrees, right? So, so instead of three sixty degrees, let me write it. As, as 2 pi. So when you divide by 2, uh, it becomes pi. So you have how many answers? So your theta, so your final answer is 1 is theta is 0, theta is pi by 2, and theta is pi. Hope that helps. Uh, so that was question number question number eight. So let's do question number nine. Again, the same question. In this example, what we'll do is, uh, uh, just to make sure this doesn't confuse, let me clean this up. I hope you understand. I think I confuse it in between, but remember, first step, try to write using the compound angle formulas or some adding and subtracting formulas. So sine 3 theta and you get sine 2 theta equals 0 and then you know sine is uh, 0 on the x-axis so it has to be 0, 180 and 360. So so I separated this, I did only for 0, uh, I, I think I, I could have done this for together like 0, 180 and back to 360. So that would be more better than now that I have already done. So 2 theta is 0 and, and uh, uh, 2 pi because you're going back to the same place. And this one, I use specially only for semi-circle on the left side, uh, okay? And then I divide by two and you get those two answers when you're done, hope that works. Now, in this example, we can use double angle formula. That's the only way we can do change this to a double angle formula is two sine theta cosine theta. And this plus sine theta, and then you can use distributive property. What is distributive property is, you see there's a sine theta right here. So we can pull it, we can undo, do undo distributive property and we can write sine theta. And what stays inside is this two and cosine. So two cosine theta plus one and then equals to zero. Now, next is use the zero product property. What is zero product property? Either you say, okay, you say sine of theta is zero, or, or, or you yeah. have this whole this pattern. This is zero. So when I, so it is two cosine theta plus one is zero. The sine theta equals zero. So what are the what are the angles theta here? So we want answer in zero this way, right? So option is theta is zero. It could be pi. That's one eighty, or it could be two pi. It could be 3 pi and so on, or could be 4 pi also. But when you divide by, but we need the answer only from 0 and you cannot even take 2 pi. This means 2 pi is excluded. This is excluded. Okay, so you can't take 2 pi. So this you cannot take. So the only option is these are the ones. So let's move this side. What's happening? Subtract 1. So if you subtract 1 here, you end up getting 2 cosine theta uh, equals minus 1 divided by 2. Okay, now let me take clean this off to make a room for me for that problem. 
Oh, taking long time, huh? Again, I hope. So you can fast follow this, okay? Okay, Valerie, Bianca, Natalie, Jocelyn, Hugo, Desire, you can always fast forward, you don't have to. Okay, let's move on. If I miss you anybody's name, please don't mind. So, so let me write this one is uh, cosine theta. So you get Okay, so let me write this back here. So you get cosine of theta is minus half, right? Now, so where is cosine uh, negative? And cosine is negative in the, because we know that uh, cosine is here, everything is positive, right? So I always like to do this, even I do it so many times, every time, uh, because that helps a lot. Visuals are very understanding that the x is what, what the cosine is, right? So this is x. So that's the cosine, right? Cosine, cosine, cosine. And you can clearly see cosine is negative in the second and the and the third quadrant. So I'm gonna write here second and the third quadrant. Okay. And how do you figure out? Okay, this minus sign is there, but we need to know what is this angle in the second quadrant because that's going to be negative and in the third quadrant. So the best way is you remember is this part because we know we know that this is this is we know cosine what cosine of what cosine of pi by three that is 60 is pi by three is half so our main angle is uh, the, the the this angle is if this is pi by three that that is what cosine of pi by three is half right so all this visuals it should be in your mind without it being i don't want you to be dependent on the unit circle without unit circle we should be able to do this so that's co pi by three now you want to go in the in the second quadrant that means this is pi by three you know all there are six of them so that means semicircle will be three of them that's the one so this is one of the pi when there are one of the pi by three here so that's the one then already this one is is going to be uh, minus half because in the this is the cosine of whatever this is 2 pi by 3 so in, if it is a second quadrant that's theta is 2 pi by 3 that's it and then if you want to go in the third quadrant now if i add another pi by so this is pi by 3 this is 2 pi by 3 now if i go around this one will be 3 pi by 3 and then you go one more pi this one so you go one more so that will be 4 pi by 3 so three of them make a semicircle and you add another one and you get theta equals 4 pi by 3 and you're done that's it so your answer so your, your final answer so what i'm trying to say so is this the only way to do it or you could also do this uh, or you could make your main angle is this one so once you know this angle you want to figure out the second quadrant then because you have to do pi semi this is the goal this is the main post of pi this is this is 3 pi by 2 so if it is here you subtract pi minus so if you want to know really if you get confused with this just write down this is pi minus that pi by 3 and you do multiply three and you get and three minus one is two pi by three that's another way you want to go on the third quadrant you want to go in the third quadrant then it will be pi plus so it, it will be plus plus pi by three so if it is three multiply three three and three pi plus pi is four pi by three so your conclusion answer is so your conclusion is zero, 
So that uh, theta is zero. Then we have uh, two pi by three. So two pi by three. You also have pi. So we have pi. And then what else? Four pi by three. So these are the, so this is, for this angle, we are, we are done. Hope that helped. Uh, can I see how long? Oh, this is already 20. Okay, so this was question number nine. So we finished uh, uh, last time, I think we did six, seven. This is nine. So the next video I'll make for 10 and 11, and that, then we end everything. Okay, thanks for watching, keep watching.